great now after that guys what we are going to do is like we will be going ahead right what we will be doing is like we will be going ahead over there and what we are going to do is like we will be trying to detect right we will be trying to cancel detect a network attack over there so for that what i will be doing is i will be trying to perform like the app poisoning so over there inside of this app poisoning guys like let me tell you the scenario So over here guys when we are talking about this app poisoning so inside of that what will be happening is when we are talking about this our protocol this address resolution protocol we are having guys so what it will be doing is it will be helping us to map out the things right it will be helping us to map out the ip address with their respected mac address we are having over there that is the work of your r now over here what will be happening is in our network we will be having the multiple devices over there right so over there like let's say we are having we are having the ip address like a 1.1.1 and 1 and then what we are having is we are having like the mac address of this legitimate device over there legitimate device like let's say this is your a1 dot a2 dot a3 right now after that guys what we are having is we are also have the attackers address right so the ip address we are having for the attacker it is like your 9.9.9.9 and the mac address it is your it is like your dd1 dot dd2 dot dd3 now after that what will be happening is like the attacker right he will be going ahead and he's going to spoof the ip address of the target right so in that particular scenario he will be sending the fake request to the you can server address resolution protocol that was this is my ip address 1.1.1.1 and my mac address is your dd1.dd2.dd3 now after that whatever data that was being uh, that was uh, that was meant from received from this this legitimate device from this user what will be happening is it will be diverted to the attacker over there right so that is what we are having as this app uh, poisoning now using this app uh, poisoning guys what will be happening is like we can go ahead what i will be doing is i will be going ahead and like let's say Uh, this is my target we are having uh, like let's say this is my target over there so in that particular scenario like let's say the ip address we are having for the target again giving it like your 991 dot right and then over this target what it will be doing is it will be connecting with the internet over there right and over here it will be trying to access the services but in between what we are having is we are also having your router right so guys over here our router it is always getting denoted like this right so our user is able to can say is able to send is able to can say access the resources from the internet over there right now let's say the ip address we are having for the router it is like your 1.1.1.1 now after that we will be having our attacker over here our attacker he will be coming into the picture right and like let's say over here the ip address we are having for this attacker it is your 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 .10 over there right so guys after this what this attacker he is going to do is he will be sending a request to the router right he will be sending the request to the router that boss my ip address it is your 9.9.9.9 .9 but actually this is the ip address of this target now after that what will be happening is the router it is going to again set add on the information over there okay so over here this machine it is sitting over here now over here because of that what will be happening is the internet connection we are having the internet connection we are having for this target machine it will be getting interrupted it won't be able to access the services and in the meantime the attacker he will be also sending the request 
to the route. Uh, to the target over there where he is going to spoof the IP address of the router that is your 1.1.1.1 1 .1 .1 .1 over there, right? He will be saying that this is my IP address 1.1.1. .1 .1 .1. I'm your router. Now, after that, this target it is going to think that okay, so this is the router. So after that, what the target will be doing is he is going to you can say connect with the internet by going through this attacker. Right, he will be also receiving his request that will be also coming through this attacker's machine. So over there, what will be happening is the internet connection for this target, it will be coming back because what we are doing is we are forcing this target over there to use us its own default gateway over there. Right now, after that, what will be happening is since all the information it is going through the attacker, so he will be able to see the information what is going on over there. Right, so using our app spoofing, what we will be doing is we will be trying to perform like this man in the middle attack. So, over here we are having our Android box that has been powered up. Now, guys, what we will be doing is like we will be going ahead, we will be going back to our Kali. Now, over here, I need to find what is the IP address we are having of this Android box over there. So for that, I will be performing this ARP scan. That is providing me the information that the IP address we are having of this target, it is your 141 over there. Right now, after that guys, what I will be doing is, as I was saying that first, I will be sending the request over there. Right, hyphen I, that is what we are having for the interface. Hato. So first, I will be doing what? I will be sending the request to the router that boss i am the android over there right my machine is the android box so i will be writing hyphen t for the target we are having and then we are going to write the information about the ip 10.141 right so over there this is the ip address we are going to send to our router over there that boss over there what is happening is i'm the router but for that what we have to do is we need to cancel at the information about the router's ip address that is what we are having like our default gateway 168.10.2 i will be hitting enter and you guys can see like using that what will be happening is like we will be able to send the request to the router because over there if you guys will be looking into the response then you can see the ip address 141 and the MAC address it is showing us that is your 00, 0 ending with your AE. But over here in the response, it is giving us the information that is 141. It is available in your D5. That is the MAC address of my Kali over there. Now, guys, I will be letting this command to run. I will be going to my another tab over there. So, so Kali. And I'm going to write as the app spoof hyphen i that is what we are having for the interface like a ato hyphen t that is what we are having for the target now as i was saying that previously what we will be doing is first we are going to send the request to the router we have sent it now we are going to send the request to our the target machine to the android that i am your router so for that now i'm going to write the ip address for this android box first We will be hitting enter and you guys can see the response for this 10.2 it is also talking about the d5 now if i will be going in over shark right if i will be going into over shark guys and i will be you can see taking you to the bottom what it will be doing is it will be providing us the information right or uh, let me do one thing let me restart it for you See guys, we are continuously finding the request for this ARP, 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 right? So over there, what will be happening is, over there, what will be happening is, we are able to find the information that someone is trying to perform like the ARP poisoning. So for that, if you just want to see the ARP packet, what we can do is, we can just simply write as ARP, hit enter, and from here, you guys can see it is also providing us the information that is saying like the duplicate use of this IP address right duplicate ip address detected for this 141 also also in use by this particular mac address over there 
right so from there what is happening is guys we are able to find the information that what it will be doing is it will be providing us the information about over the swire shark that someone is trying to perform like the the poisoning now over here guys for that what i will be doing is let me write it like i just wanted to find the information about the attacker over there like how uh, we will be able to cancel filter out the information over there right that someone is trying to perform the app poisoning or not so in that particular scenario guys i will be doing what i will be simply writing a wireshark filter and with the help of that i will be able to find the information about the app poisoning so for that we will be writing as the app dot duplicate hyphen address detected right along with that okay let me try with this one only right so from here guys what is happening is it is providing us the big app uh, request from there what will be happening is we will be able to find the information where it will be saying that this particular uh, the uh, the ip address it has been detected that someone is trying to perform like the the duplicate of it right so using that what is happening is like in the background like the attacker he's able to perform like the man in the middle attack over there right using our the app spoof along with that we are also having the other tools that is like we are having the attack cap so using that we can also find the information so over here about our this filter it is doing is it is providing us the information that a single ip address we are having right like over there what will be happening is we are finding a single ip address that is a uh, claiming right that is getting claimed by the you can say more than one mac address over there right so that is how it will be happening is we will be able to find the information that what is happening is someone is trying to perform like the the poisoning attack over there now after that guys what we will be doing is we will be trying to perform like the uh, you can say the dos attack over there so let me remove this filter from here i will be going back now over here what we will be doing is let me stop these attacks over there otherwise it will be making some sort of disruptions while performing the attack all right so over there what we are having is we are having a tool with the name your hping3 so using this hping3 guys what we will be doing is we will be trying to perform like the dos attack that is what we are going to detect using our wireshark over there now over here as i was previously talking about the sin flood attack guys so that is what we are going to do right i will be writing hyphen capital s that is what we are having for the sin right and then after that what we have to do is we just need to provide the address to it right like i will be trying to write the uh, the address we are having that is your 192.168.10.141 your right then after that guys what i will be doing is i will be asking my hping3 tool to cancel flood but if i will be you can say performing the flood over there what it will be doing is it will be providing us the information over here see continuously the send request that is uh, leaving our system over there right let me just find the information about the the scene over there tcp dot flex dot sin hit enter see filtering the tcp uh, flex sense it is just processing it and from there we will be able to find the information about it right so since the you can say uh, the request it is leaving our system in a pretty you can say the quick manner that is why it is making my system bit slow see in just couple of second we have sent it these many numbers of the packets over here right but guys if i will be looking into over wireshark right if i will be looking into your wireshark over there so from here continuously you will be able to find the information let me stop it so what will be happening is continuously you will be able to find the information over there that this particular target is being done from the machine like we are having as your 138 right what is happening is we are able to find the information that we are having like the 
138 over there that is performing the attack and using that what will be happening is we will be able to detect over there right we will be able to detect that that someone from a single machine he's sending us an overwhelming amount of the send request and using that he's trying to perform like the flood over there he's trying to perform like the the dos attack now over here what is happening is like the attackers what they are doing is they are also going ahead and they can also use the random sources hyphen hyphen right hyphen source right if i will be hitting enter guys this time what will be happening is it is not going to our this uh hwing3 what it will be doing is it is not going to use our own ip address instead of that it will be using the different different ip addresses over there right so using that what will be happening is we will be able to play safe right and the attackers ip it won't be you can say available over there so that is how it will be happening is like the help of our the swashak over there what will be happening is we will be able to find the information along with that guys whenever the attacker they will be performing these types of attack they are not sending us the packets over there of around your you can say the 54 bytes over there instead of that what they will be doing is they will be sending us a packet that will be having the bigger size over there right so over there what will be happening is the attacker they want to uh, consume our resources so for that they, they need to you can say send the packets that will be you can say into the bigger size over there right so using that what will be happening is if our machine it will be going ahead and it will be trying to you can say capture them so after after some time what will be happening is the resources we are having of our machine they will be getting compromised over there and our server it will be starved for the resources so that is how it will be happening is like we will be able to find the information that someone is trying to perform like the like the dos or the ddos attack over here in our network right along with that with the wire shark what we can do is we can also find the information about if someone is trying to perform right if someone is trying to perform like the the wireless attacks also right so using that what will be happening is a uh, wire shark it can also provide us the information about them right we are also having the even the option of the wireless over there the the w line traffic we are having the bluetooth devices over there and many more but since what is happening is i'm not sending any type of the 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 wireless traffic over there i'm not uh, performing the attack in the wi-fi so that is why what is happening is i won't be able to find the information but if someone will be performing the attack we will be able to find the mac address the channel they are using the ssid we are having the percentage of our packets right and many more right so all those information using the shark we will be able to find the information over there right along with that what we can do is we can also find the information about the length of the packets we are having right so over here we can just apply the display filter from here we will be able to find a specific information and using that what will be happening is we can also find the information about the lengths of the packets we are having guys so this is how what will be happening is like we will be able to detect like the you can say the attacks that are happening in our network using our wireshark just by using the wireshark filters over there right we will be able to identify the different different network attacks like we were talking about the dos attack we were talking about the poisoning attacks and many more 